For the last six months, we've been holding something back from you guys. This is a huge secret that's gonna completely change the course of our lives, of our channel, of everything that we're doing. And today, we're letting you in on the secret. The biggest question we're gonna to answer today is, are we still going to be able to do van life? Okay, so we're in Costa Rica, we're at the Airbnb, I'm hiding in the bathroom upstairs. My sister happened to mention like a week ago that she had these pregnancy tests laying around and so she was like, oh, I'll bring them for you, they're like plastic free, whatever. So I'm five days late, so I think I'm going to go for one. I haven't told anybody that I'm even late. We'll see. Now the only problem is this entire packet is in French. So good thing I can understand a little bit of that. Let's do this. We wait five minutes. I'm shaking, I'm so nervous. It looks really positive. <laughs> it definitely hasn't been five minutes yet. Just won a card game, so I'm running high on adrenaline. Going for number two. Looking pretty positive, too. It's only been like 10 seconds. Does that mean I'm like super pregnant? Or these tests are like super faulty? I gotta tell Frank. It looks really positive to me. Shit. <laughs> wow. Yes? I did two pregnancy tests mm -hmm. and I'm pregnant. Really? Holy shit! Congratulations! Yeah! That's incredible! <laughs> oh man! That's so dope! <laughs> Everything goes really good. Mm. We got a family. A bigger one. Yeah. I told you on the way back. Yeah. If it happened, it happened. Uh, the way back. <laughs> we turned around a week ago. <laughs> Holy shit. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it is. At least it was easy. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Very excited for our future. Mm. We were bursting with excitement and so we had to tell my family. We spent the next two weeks with them in Costa Rica talking about the future, enjoying the present, and then it was time to hit the road and head back towards the United States and figure out where the heck we were gonna have this baby. A 
Another thing that makes this drive kind of difficult is that Alex is pregnant, you know? So it makes things different for her. It makes the, the driving, the motion feel a little weird. Like, and maybe that might be a reason why we're not filming so much either because she doesn't always feel the best. And sometimes she has to eat crackers with peanut butter. I'm like, I was about to throw up. I was like, I need, cause we have no food. So I didn't really have breakfast. And then I'm like. Okay, now that you have that cracker in your mouth, what has been the experience of uh, being pregnant and driving back to Baja, California? Pretty nauseating. <laughs> yeah. Look at my fucking cracker lap. <laughs> I'm fucking covered in crackers. Cracker lap. At this point, I'm like nine weeks pregnant. I feel less worse than I did before, but still not good. So the highway that we're on right now is pretty sparse. There's not a lot of big stores over here. So we just pulled up to this tienda and got a bag full of fresh fruits and veggies. It's really not a meal and we're so starving. It's like a cucumber with salt and pepper and lime juice. Not satisfying. <laughs> <sighs> I need to take care of my pregnant lady better. One of the questions we must ask is, what is healthcare gonna be like for us? We do have insurance, but it's only for accidents and for activities. It is not for prenatal care. I spent hours calling midwives, OBGYNs, even Planned Parenthood in California, because that was gonna be our first stop in America, and all of them either wouldn't see me or were extremely overpriced. And so I made one call to an OBGYN in Baja, California, and we were in just a few days later. Uh, it's been almost 12 weeks since I've been pregnant, so I'm officially over my first trimester, which is very exciting. There was definitely a fair bit of nausea, fair bit of a sleepiness, but now I'm feeling much more like myself, except for the heartburn and the feeling like full all the time. So. We are going for our first doctor's appointment. I tried to book something in California. It was very complicated, confusing, and very expensive. So before we leave Mexico, we're gonna go to the gynecologist. Come on with us. Oh my God, guys, I can't believe this is happening. I'm excited, I'm a little nervous. I don't know how to feel. I've never been a dad before. Like, what do you do when you're becoming a dad? Like, is there anything there? Is there anything that I need to know? Probably. <laughs> I guess you have to let me know. Are, are you excited to be a big brother? Are you excited to be a big brother, Paco? Yes and no. Oh, he kissed the yes hand. You kissed the yes hand. <laughs> He's like, I'm excited to get out of here. Is it like, do I have to just like grow my beard out forever now? No. Like, is that the thing that I have to do? Definitely no not. cutting my hair, no trimming my beard until the baby comes. What? <laughs> Playoffs. <laughs> it's the playoffs, babe. This is like superstition, you know what I mean? I gotta make sure I stay on my P's and Q's. All right. In case you're wondering, there's nothing to see yet. <laughs> there's baby. Yeah. We're gonna get pictures and ultrasound and a whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a caravan and so we move around. Ah, yeah. Okay, cross Mexico. Uh, yeah, we went all the way to Panama and now ah, we're coming back. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, con the conception of this baby happened in Panama. What, in Panama? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hello. <laughs> don't check the back door. I'm though. not. There's don't a worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I keep it up here. <laughs> we'll also find out how many are in there. How fish is one? Maybe two, maybe three. Maybe three. Hey, slow down here, slow down. <laughs> I guess all that really matters is that it's, it's a heart beating for, and it's, it's a good. present for Panama. Right? Baby, Panama baby. <laughs> okay, here we go then. Okay. Oh, go look at the camera. Oh, yeah. Only one There's baby. one baby. Uh -huh. oh, Can you see it? Oh look my god. Look up there, babe. Look up there. The head, heart, wow. the back, tummy, legs. Yeah. Oh wow, you can see a lot. Wow. You can see a lot. And say hello. Hola. 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 <laughs> Hola, Hola, little bee. Wow. Hola, buenas tardes. <laughs> 
Look at it move! Oh my gosh, it's so cool! It's kicking! You can see its spinal cord. Seven wow. Seven With minutes. the legs. Because That's this a is real a real baby. <laughs> and maybe two for legs. Yeah. Everything looks normal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. This is the heart. And again, because it's moving a yeah. lot. Yeah. It's moving this baby it's a lot. It's an active baby. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> looks like it's skiing right now. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Only perfect. one. Only one. Perfect. Frank's happy about Ooh. that. <laughs> yes, no twins. <laughs> the last Long legs. Long legs, mm -hmm. yeah. Independence. Oh, Independence it's Mexico's Day Independence, Mexico. Independence Day is our due date. Wow, awesome. <laughs> okay. Listo. Oh. Okay. Listo. Perfecto. Oh. Oro bien. Yeah. Voy a Damn, I have no baby. <laughs> kind of disappointed it's not triplets. Uh, I'm very happy it's not. <laughs> Good morning. We are crossing the United States border today. We went and got some blood work done that the OBGYN recommended this morning, super quick and easy. Last night we actually went and had the second ultrasound to confirm that the baby does not have Down syndrome, which is great. And actually last night the guy was like, oh, like it's gonna be 2000 pesos. And we were like, okay, tarjeta. And he was like, no. My machine isn't working. So. And then he said, you know what? It's a gift from me to you. How sweet. Right? So we got the second ultrasound last night for free, which he was so great and so thorough and like gave us all these photos. So we have all this stuff going back to the United States. But first we got to cross. Yeah, just really excited about the results and happy that we're going to have a nice, healthy baby. And there was only one in there. That was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> so we've officially coming to the end of our nine countries in nine months with the crossing the border back into the United States. I've lost it to go. <laughs> <laughs> Paco's obviously very excited and so are we. So let's get back to America. I mean, well, we're in America. We're in North America. These are the things that we've learned. Mexico to U.S. Confusing as hell, <laughs> as I should expect from America crossing. <laughs> One thing we knew for certain is we have to sell Olive because we cannot have a baby in this van with the way it's built right now. We would have to completely strip and renovate the van in order to accommodate a baby. And so for us, it just made more sense to sell Olive and start fresh. So we're gonna show you that whole process in the next coming videos. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But for now, we're having a baby. <laughs> we're super excited. Things are moving along really well. There's obviously so much moving and changing in our lives right now. And we wanna catch you guys up and bring you along for the adventure. We're gonna be renovating a whole new van everything is going really well and really fast <laughs> we have to remember to cherish this moment and the time that we're having together uh, because we're not gonna have this particular moment again mm hmm our first baby guys and we're keeping the gender a surprise so you guys will have to stay tuned to find out what's it gonna be on the big day what do you think boy or girl it's gonna be F and a and another letter we don't know yet. <laughs> a huge thank you to all of our Patreons for keeping this secret and for all of the love. We just got off the phone with our potential buyers. Oh, it's really amazing how much stuff you can fit in a van. A new RV.